Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I uh, had a few questions during the weekend about um, what exactly is a near ultrasound and audible Trojan. So this is something new in the vocabulary of uh, tech people, tech enthusiasts and regular folks also that are kind of wondering about technology and their security. And it has to do with, so of course, you know, there's all sorts of assistance out there. In Windows, we have Cortana that can be enabled and so on. Um, and these, of course, all work in a similar way. They listen to what you have to say in order to do what you want. So it could be the Google Assistant. It could be the Amazon um, Assistant. It could be Siri, it could be any other that would pop up over time. The idea is that, of course, it's convenient because you can actually, without touching your device, ask to do things, you know, play your favorite radio station songs or do tasks, add things to calendars. So it's extremely convenient, and we have even TVs today that do it. But there's one thing that... Um, I think was not maybe thought of immediately at the beginning is that the human ear has a frequency range that it can actually hear. And as we get older, actually, that range goes smaller because we do get a little bit more deaf in the higher frequencies. Now, electronic devices with their microphones listening have a very wide range of frequencies they can hear. And actually, if you ever had or if you have animals, you might have noticed that you have apps on your phones that actually do ultrasounds and that your animals can hear them, but you don't hear anything. Well, that also is true not just for playback. It's also true for the microphone that's listening to you on your devices. So what happens is the near ultrasound inaudible Trojan can actually trigger voice assistants smart and smartphone smart speakers and um, IOT devices and basically because you start having control over every device doing this and because it's such a high rate it's a, such a high frequency that the human ear does not hear anything well what's happening is that uh, this is a concern because it means your devices are now showing the ability to actually have malicious commands sent to these devices to do things that um, you know we um, we won't even notice until it's done so there's a few things about this and one of the questions that a lot of you have asked me about it is there anything we can do about it well the most simple thing you can do about it is to have your devices stop listening to you uh, by turning them off if you have smart speakers. So if you're not at home, you can turn them off so that nothing happens while you're not there. Um, you can turn off the assistance in devices like PCs, turn off Cortana, turn off the um, assistance in your smartphones and TVs. Uh, there are ways to turn them off. Uh, but, of course, by doing that, you're losing the capabilities that they give you also. So it's a question of maybe just turning them on right now until, you know, we um, we fix the problem. And how do we fix the problem? Well, we fix the problem by creating filters that mean anything that is out of what the range of human um, here can listen should not actually be able to trigger these devices. So um, it's, it's a complex issue, and it has to do with the fact that these devices can listen to a range of frequencies that is so much wider than our ears. Uh, but there is a fix for it. Uh, simply limit the range of frequencies to just the human voice. The human voice doesn't actually have such a big range. So it's easy to just narrow down these devices to listen to just the frequencies of human voice, which means such an attack would be heard. You would be able to hear it if it happened. But right now, this needs uh, some upgrade. I don't know if just 
um, firmware upgrades in the devices can actually change that, or if it's the electronics that needs to be changed with filtering to reduce the amount of frequencies that these devices are um, capable of listening to. But truly, it is scary because that means that these assistants can, um, you know, trigger and work um, and get commands without you even noticing and hearing anything. And that is probably the scariest thing about these devices and what they can do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.